Today we are going to learn how to create a visitor using Eclipse. We create a project. Under examples, editing and validating XML files is the project that Eclipse is offering us by default. Select it and click next. And then click finish. We are presented with the readme uh, HTML file and a couple of examples are presented by Eclipse illustrating the capabilities of what Eclipse can do to the XML world. In this, create a folder called My Example. We are interested in creating a visual file, so let's close this and create a new visual file. In the wizard dialog, type WSDL visual, select visual file, click next, name the file and click finish. <coughs> Once finish is clicked, Eclipse presents us with a default uh, visual configuration. Let us try to understand what this is. We are right now trying to use the IDE in order to construct visual rather than trying to understand the specific XML tags uh, that are used in construction of a visual. This is a service new visual file. This is the service exposed on this endpoint URL is having an operation which takes an input and gives an output. On a high level this is what is represented in this visual. Let us try to build a service to get stock quotes. So change the name which implies what we want to do. Name this as stock quote service. Yes we have named it as stock quote service. This is called port. <coughs> stock code port and we want to expose this on stock code url that happens this happens to be our uh, endpoint url because we have defined it here this becomes the endpoint url of the web service that we want to expose don't save this and this is port type Remember this is port and this is port type which is bound which are bound using binding So change this to stock code port type Stock code port type This is our binding We'll refactor the binding We'll refactor the binding as stock code binding we are trying to use the same name across stock code binding now this is operation it is get stock code please observe that uh, we have new operation and new operation response here uh, being pointed by the mouse uh, when i click enter on the keyboard they have changed to get stock code and get stock code response this is a convention that we are using your method name and method name response these are the xsd elements that will be further defining to complete our visual have we done until now we have defined stock code service having an operation get stock code which takes input and xml defined by this xsd element get stock code and gives out an XML defined by the XSD element get stock code response. Let us dive one level deeper into this. We now want to define how this complex element looks like. Click on this blue arrow. By default, an in attribute is being presented with, but uh, we want to add our own attributes. We'll say stock code request will take in stock code request and because we do not require this in attribute now we'll be deleting it delete this 
and the data type of this is a string no we want a complex element a nested xml structure so we'll be saying new stock code request type double click on this and we are presented with another view where we see the request but nested elements are not defined which we are going to define now right click on stock code request type add element type in id and add element and type uh, company code close this and let us see what we have done until now get stock code complex element will be having level 1 child as stock code request and stock code request will be having two children id and company code which are expecting inputs as strings now let us take care of the response so the input xml based on this complex element which we have defined the input xml will be expecting an xml string thing an xml string stock code request with id and company code in it let us define the response click on the blue arrow now we want to define our own response so add element and stock code response is the root element delete this stock code response is the root element double click this and change this to a complex type now we are presented with empty children add element the id which was requested and the company code that came in the company code that came in and the stock code value that we are trying to send and stock code value is going to be double that's it we have defined our uh, preliminary visual stock code service exposed on endpoint url example.org slash stock code which has an operation get stock code and this operation analogous to any function or method in programming world is taking an input and giving an output input takes in stock code request as root element with id and children with id and company code as its children and response is taking stock code response as root element we will be sending stock code response as a root element with id company code and stock code value as children in it